Hey guys, so uh, I want to just do a quick little benchmark speed test here of some uh, top end devices that we do have in late 2015. Uh, so on the left we do have the uh, beautiful Note 5, uh, the Moto X style slash pure, uh, the new iPhone 6s Plus and also the uh, beautiful uh, Huawei Nexus 6P. So we can see how uh, basically the performance is according to the benchmarks which uh, you know a lot of people can be quite interested in so we should just try and start these up at roughly the same kind of time so we can see how they uh, perform here so uh, this is obviously a battle of uh, X you know 7420 uh, or 7422 uh, and also the uh, style which is coming with uh, Snapdragon 808, Apple A9 obviously, and the Snapdragon 810 uh, in the Nexus 6P, which uh, so far seems to be quite uh, good uh, in late 2015. You know, I've not noticed any like uh, heating problems or anything like that. I've been using the 4K, and it's been very good. Uh, and you, you know you do feel a bit uh, worried when you look at the me metallic build uh, of the Nexus 6P and Snapdragon A10 it doesn't give you the best of uh, kind of uh, thoughts but you know, there's no need to worry really with this one I think uh, they finally figured it out uh, but I've been very impressed with the um, Snapdragon 808 in the Moto X style slash pure however I think that the, the uh, pure it's probably going to be like uh, supplanted now. We do have the uh, Moto X uh, Droid Turbo 2, which is coming with uh, Snapdragon uh, 810 and uh, like really durable design as well. So I think it's unbreakable. Uh, that's going to be released as the Moto X Force, I think, internationally. So it might be worthwhile waiting for that if you you know want the extreme power here I think it also comes with a Super AMOLED display so it sounds like a souped up Moto X style actually uh, so that should be quite good and you can see here uh, we're getting uh, I think uh, quite similar scores on the uh, Note 5 and this Nexus 6P Moto X style slash play going straight out in front here which is very nice and also, did I just call it play? I think I did. I meant pure. They're very similar devices. You know, they look similar to me. Uh, the the iPhone does seem to lag behind a bit though here. And we do have the uh, graphical part nearly done here on the. Moto X style, so it looks like it's getting about, uh, I think, 30 frames per second, which is very nice. Uh, Note 5, well up there with the uh, 45 frames per second, and this one is getting uh, quite nice as well in the 40s. I think the graphical area is the only area where the Snapdragon 808 uh, kind of falls over a little bit. Uh, it's not uh, as good as the 810, so I've heard. But in terms of the day-to-day -day use, there's barely any difference if we're to be honest. Uh, you can see I'm getting quite a nice score here, 53,000. Uh, not as good as the 6P though, 60,994 which is very nice, it's above the Xiaomi Note Pro, OnePlus 2, uh, however the king obviously here, Note 5, 70,830, uh, which is even better than usual, usually it gets about 69 or something, you can see uh, the normal average score is uh, below there. And so there's a massive discrepancy here you can see with the the uh, the style slash pure but the day-to-day -day use isn't really that different so uh, with the iPhone 6s plus you can see 58,000 so uh, just below the Nexus 6p here Nexus 6p is obviously coming with 
um, a bit more powerful spec here which is very nice so yeah you know I think you can see these figures speak for themselves here and uh, I hope uh, you found it helpful obviously they're all running the latest software as well but maybe some subsequent updates will improve the performance even more looking forward to Marshmallow on the Note 5 and uh, see if that makes even better scores so yeah just a quick little video here checking this out I uh, hope you found it helpful if you're looking for these scores and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.